Are we energized? Are we good? Oh my goodness, thank you so much, Georgina Paskogan and Caitlin Gilliland for that incredible performance. Did the facts that you just heard make you feel a little bit uncomfortable, anyone? Well, good. Because if you're not uncomfortable about the state of gender equality, then you should be. I'm Janet Mbogwa, I'll be your host as we talk about unlocking women's power. But before we begin, I'd like to do a very quick study. Please, can I ask you, just by raising your hand, if you or someone you know has ever been paid less because of gender? Being expected to do household chores because of gender? Wow. Being expected to work in a certain profession because of gender? Ooh. Being expected to look after children or elders because of gender? Being discouraged to be ambitious or assertive because of gender? Being afraid to ask for a promotion because of gender? had their bodily autonomy compromised because of gender. Thank you. How can a problem which affects so many of us be so far from being achieved? That song, in that powerful song and opening performance, was written in 1985 by Kate Bush. It's about a woman making a deal with God to exchange places with a man so that he could feel how it feels to be a woman. So that she could experience climbing and running up that hill with no problems, with nothing holding her back. Well, 37 years later, thanks to a small show called Stranger Things, <laughs> small, a whole new generation has connected with the song. And those lyrics are still relevant because women are still being held back. Strange, right? I really hope that by the end of this session, you feel, as she wrote, thunder in your heart about the state of gender equality and impatience to unlock women's power. Now, goalkeepers, please welcome to the stage the queen of Global Goal 5, Melinda French Gates. <laughs> <laughs> 